Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. Today's hotel review is the new Ace Hotel in New Orleans at 600 Carondelet Street. This hotel had only been open for about a month and I apologize for the poor video quality. The hotel is very dark on the inside. Uh, I took the um, video pretty quickly as I was about to check out. I was staying in 718 which is a corner suite and as you can see here, there's a door here that goes to both 718 and 717. So as we go through the door, there's a small hallway and there's two rooms within that hallway. That's 718 and the other one is 717. The one odd thing is that if the deadbolt on the exterior door gets locked by one of the occupants of one of the rooms, and the occupants of the other room are locked out so they will get in with their key card. And once we're inside the room, there's a small hallway with an armoire. On the inside of this door, there's the standard locks and a chain. And it's very dark in here. The walls are painted black and there's not much light. But inside the armoire is a, um, a bathrobe. Actually, I believe there's two bathrobes, some hangers. That sort of thing. This is way out of the way of the room, though. Then we have a little bar with the different snacks that you can consume, and then they charge you for it on your room bill. They're not very cheap. The room is very large, has a king-size bed, a couch, a desk, refrigerator, and television. The inside of the main part of the room isn't as dark as the rest of the hotel. It's got white walls, which um, make it a lot brighter. Small coffee table, which is very easy to trip over because you don't expect it to be there. And as with all Ace Hotel rooms, they either come with a record player or a guitar. This one came with a record player and a, and a sound system that you can Bluetooth your, uh, your cell phone or your iPod to. The lamps next to the bed have electric outlets on them, but if you turn the lamp off, the electric outlet turns off. So you, if you want to charge your phone overnight while the lamps are off, you have to plug into the wall desk has a telephone and some other things. The decent sized refrigerator which when you open it up it has other things you can consume out of the food and champagne. bathroom has an interesting layout. The toilet is in its own little room. It's also very dark in here and the toilet and all and, and fixtures are black so it's kind of hard to see. The toilet room gets closed off with a pocket door. And the bath towels are also located in the toilet room which is kind of difficult to find when I went to take a shower. The shower and tub are separate and there's a large window overlooking Carondelet Street over the tub. Soap, shampoo and conditioner are included. distance we can see the Hyatt Regency and behind that is the Superdome. There's no view of the Superdome though because it's hidden behind the Hyatt Regency. The rest of the bathroom is closed off by a curtain. With the large windows we have fantastic views from this room. This is looking down at Carondelet Street at the corner of Lafayette.
climate control is controlled by an electronic thermostat. And there's not much of a view out of the Lafayette Street side, but we're looking towards Poitra Street and the French Quarter off in the distance. And that is One Shell Square, which is the tallest building in New Orleans. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and join us for our next 504 road trip.